Hi, I didn't even see you there. Welcome back to another episode of Traveling with Crushworth. I'm in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and I'm sitting down to a wonderful special dish of poutine. It is fantastic, but before I'll show you the sights, I gotta finish all this food. Follow me as your travel guide to Montreal's historic downtown and immerse yourself in a thriving arts and culture destination with top attractions all travelers can enjoy. 2017 marks the 375th anniversary since the city's founding as part of New France. Canada is also honoring 150 years since the nation became a country in 1867. Walk the city's time-tested cobblestone streets. Sit for a while in public squares Place Jacques Cartier or Place de Arms, or reflect upon the visitors arriving at the old port over the centuries. A city of churches, truly unique architecture, and cultures and food from nations people worldwide, Montreal offers a kaleidoscope blend for visitors no matter the season. Once the tallest building in the British Empire, the former Royal Bank of Canada headquarters at 360 St. Jacques, known for its grandeur, was a banking landmark in Montreal for 82 years. It's hard not to be enthralled at the cathedral ceilings and the opulent decor. Part of the building, once one of the city's first skyscrapers, is now cafe and co-working space Crew Collective. The bank opened in 1928, moved headquarters in 1962, and all operations ended in 2010. Today, guests once again enjoy the building, which sat empty until recently. Gaze upon the wartime memorial for employees who served from the bank. It's easy to find yourself getting lost in the details, carvings, and stunning architecture around you. It's been 482 years since Jacques Cartier was led down the St. Lawrence River in 1535 by the Iroquois First Nations to village Hochelaga on the slopes of a mountain he called Mont Royal. A protected place of gathering estimated to be in use for centuries, Cartier was quoted saying one can see a long distance from the peak of the mountain, later the city's namesake. Today the mountain is at Montreal's heart and offers visitors a stunning view of a dynamic city. It's also a place to exercise, relax, and enjoy nature away from the din of the modern city. It was a long trip, uh, but I climbed Mont Royal, and after that I needed some food. You know what I mean, You're, you go for a climb and then you get a, a good hung, hunger on. Well, uh, I found the place to go, it's Schwartz's Deli. And this is where you get the Montreal smoked meat sand sandwich. And it is wonderful, it's huge. I have it on my plate here, so I'm about to uh, tuck in. See you later. Notre Dame Basilica of Montreal watches over present-day Notre Dame Street, but the site has long had religious importance, with the oldest church completed in the late 17th century. The present-day church was dedicated in 1829 and was converted to a minor basilica in 1982 by Pope John Paul II. For Montrealers, it's a source of history, awe-inspiring beauty, deep pride. Venture underground at the Pointe de Calier Museum to the Ville Marie archaeological site where Montreal was born. Reflect upon that early community's 1643 Catholic graveyard. Ville Marie was founded on a point of land between the St. Lawrence River and a small tributary in 1642, and it became equally as known by the name Montreal. The early colony, founded by Paul de Chamde de Maisonneuve and Jean Mats, 
expanded around the fur trade, which was Montreal's early economic driver. One of the most important occurrences at the Ville Marie Montreal site was the signing of the Great Peace of 1701. Constructed in 1705 as a lavish home for the then Governor of New France, Claude de Ramsay, Montreal Chateau Ramsay reflects a turbulent period in Canadian history. The home saw many inhabitants, including the British after French Quebec's fall and the Americans who initially tried to convince French Canadians to rebel against the English. The Chateau reflects a difficult North American chapter and Quebec's entrance into the War of Independence. George Washington himself ordered attacks on Montreal and Quebec in 1775. American leaders made the Chateau Ramsay the campaign headquarters after Montreal's capture and Governor Carleton's retreat to Quebec City in November of that year. Benjamin Franklin, a journalist, inventor, and politician from the Continental Congress, visited military leaders at the mansion. Quebec City was under siege by Patriots in December 1775. Two fronts were defeated, one halted by French and English militia in Quebec City's lower town. British reinforcements came May 1776, and the Chateau was in Carleton's hands again by June. The Chateau Ramsay has been a Montreal museum since 1895. Its portrait gallery, including founders Cartier and Champlain, and its garden make it a must-visit tourism attraction. As Montreal's oldest post-secondary institution, McGill University began in 1821, but it started when James McGill's will unveiled a bequest that altered the educational landscape. The Scotsman, who immigrated to North America, was a fur trader in the burgeoning 18th century economy and a politician later in life. He also led Montreal's defense in the War of 1812 as part of the city's militia. The Red Path Museum, which has welcomed guests for 135 years, is known for its collection including extinct animals like the dodo bird, vertebrate fossils, and Egyptian artifacts. Don't miss the stunning dinosaur skeletons in the main hall and the ancient mummies. To this day, this Montreal museum remains one of the most surprising tourism finds in the city. I started in the Plateau neighborhood, a hotbed for trendy shops, street art and world cultures, but soon wandered into Mile End to find one of the city's famed sesame bagels. The Atwater Market is a vibrant destination for Montrealers and visitors alike. A place to get flowers, fruit, vegetables, meats, cheeses, and other items. This location truly reflects the city's food culture. Thank you for watching this Montreal episode of Traveling with Crushworth. To follow me to the nation's capital, Ottawa, click the video link on the right. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.